using the blue. Don't be misled by the uniforms. They are their country uniforms. And the draw determines whether they use red or blue. So the, the top in the draw uses the red and the bottom in the draw uses the blue. Both of these players, well-respected players for both their bowls and their temperament. As Kelly does the job there and drops inside, just rocks off the shot bowl and sits for one. The New Zealand Greens, potentially the fastest in the world. They play on a type of weed. And if it gets damp, it actually gets quicker. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's not unusual for them to be playing on 18, 19 second greens. Very good shot here. Great correction from Taylor Bruce. You can see already the players just finding that range. Great shot from Kelly. Still haven't had anything other than a one scored. <laughs> this could change that. You never know what you're going to get when you watch a game of singles because it can be threes and fours. It can be quite high scoring. Um, or it can be like this where you get lots and lots of ones. This might change that run, though. There it is. That is going to be two scored. For Kelly McCarran. And Taylor's bowl stood up and then a couple of seconds later it fell out as well. So it is a measure for shot at the moment. This might change things because it's going to get some contact. Well, that'll definitely decide that. And that looks like two shots at the moment to Taylor Bruce. And when you look how many games they've played to get here, mm. I mean, eight, ten matches minimum, ten matches for, for Taylor, uh, would have had a bye in that section, and 11 matches for Kelly to get here. They've had plenty of time to, to refine their skills, that's for sure, as they've come through. Yeah, so it's been a marathon for both of them. And Kelly had nine wins... Plus 27 shots. Another great young player from New Zealand. So Kelly holding a couple of shots. This her final bowl of this end. Well, this is in the area. What a great shot. We talked about crowding that jack and there they are. Yeah. We've got the men's triples, women's fours. Men's pairs decided. Women's singles today. What do we see next week? We basically flip it, don't we? Yes, we do. So the the para disciplines are finished for the event. Yep. As we see a great shot there from Taylor just when she needed it. Sit the shot bowl. Thought she might have been tempted to look for him, but she's sticking with the backhand side, looking to get mainly to the bowl rather than the jack. What's she doing with the front stuff here? Well, that'll do. Uh -huh. 
Australia's Karen Murphy is the last champion in the women's singles. In fact, she was two-time defending champion. Back to back, yep. Adelaide and then Christchurch, 2012, 2016. And yes, if you just recently joined us, and it has been seven years since we've seen a World Bowls title. It's Kelly Landing, she is. Yes. Wow, that's done the job. Lands in there and maintains her lead. In fact, extends her lead back out to three shots. 11-8. Yeah, de definitely on the east side, Clive. Um, you saw, you saw the, um, Kelly's bowls coming down on the forehand there. They were ripping right out from the a wide line. And then that bowl coming down at Taylor's, that's got a tailwind behind it now. So it's just rolling and rolling <laughs> and right to the jack. So I've got it, I've got it just short of 18 seconds, which... Big moment in the match available here. Taylor can get back down to the jack. It's trying. Well, she's just played the draw shot by the look of it. She's done it very, very well. Oh, what a shot. Hone your own focus. Mm -hmm. And you tend to nail it yourself as well. It's, it's, it's amazing how it can happen. Sometimes when you're looking at something and you've got that meter to draw, you just don't quite focus enough on it. And your position drops one a foot away and you can draw inside it. Now, speaking of... <laughs> oh, what a shot. Oh. Yeah. She isn't far away. She's got the right off the off the absolute front. Well, that oh. that's that's a fortunate oh. result. It was probably the result she was looking off to on the, off the next bowl down the line rather than off the front one. This could be huge in the context. Down by two. Yeah, well, this, this is going to be good. This is definitely going to count. Well, I reckon the tape's coming out here. This is going to be interesting. This is a huge opportunity for Taylor, and I think we're going to be checking here. Well, look at that. There's already, already those Seems balls right. moved that no Canadian woman has ever won a gold medal at a world title. I get the feeling she would. She is a proud Canadian, there's no doubt about that. Now this last bowl on its way. It's, well, it, is it gonna land? It has. And that will be another one on the board to Kelly, and guess what? We are all tied up. No good for the superstitious. Oh, 13 apiece. You know, can just maintain good breathing patterns and keep in a positive mindset. Opportunity to take the lead back. Knox right here for Taylor Bruce. Needs it to drop all the way back. And oh, what a great shot. That'll do. Three? Three it is. I think, Barry, just to echo your point, it's about not letting the outcomes get into the mind. And as the closer you come to victory, the closer that the, the more those thoughts can creep into the mind about what it's going to mean if, you, if you're the winner. Has this got the jack? It has. What a great shot that is. Trails it for two and sits in front. And bred that confidence. She'd gone well enough, hadn't she? Yeah. So are we about to see another big, big turning point? Kelly McCarran, Canada. She's played two good ones. Just needs to match those up. Good line. All down to weight. This is good. This is all over it. Three. A 
takes the lead back, shoots to 18. She's three away from a world championship. We are back live in a riveting women's singles final at the World Bowls Championships here at Helensvale, northern end of the Gold Coast. Look at this. Great shot. Taylor just when she needs it. Comes up with a couple of crackers. A slice of history because Canada's women haven't won a gold medal at a world title before, but the New Zealanders are tied with Australia with three champions each. And Elsie Wilkie, MBE, back in the 70s, went back to back, 73 and 77, and Val Smith in 2008 at Christchurch. And have we got three? We've We're got good. three. We have three. We have a new leader. And we are in touching distance of a world championship. Becomes huge. Taylor can nail the jack. The world champion of champions, just 28. Ditch to ditch type length. And a very good line here for Taylor. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! Wow. <laughs> the bowling from our commentary end, so we've got this perfect behind view of what's unfolding here. The danger now for Kelly is with Taylor on the jack with that first bowl, she knows the weight and line, and she may well be able to do it again. She may well be able to do it again. Wow. But there's enough of a target there. Well, this is better. Yeah, no this doubt is close. it's a better line. Doesn't want the gap now. Oh, wow. Can you believe that? Wow. Needs it to hold. It's going to go. She knows it's gone. The world title is Tyler Bruce's. It was just another game, Pat. It's not anymore. <laughs> Taylor Bruce, a dual world champion. The world champion of champion singles. And now the world championship. Taylor Bruce. She becomes the fourth New Zealand winner of the World Singles Championship. And it's a remarkable day for a young lady who is just 28. And from New Zealand, Taylor Bruce. If you are able, please be upstanding for the national anthem of New Zealand for our gold medal winning singles winner, Taylor Bruce.